internet. I've missed you, internet. How's it going? Let's get right into this. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, we'll try this end. There we go. Peel this off. What do we got here? Probably blew on the mic there a little bit. Sorry if that happened. Ah, I got a Stella. Just having a little something uh, this afternoon. Nothing crazy right there. You know what this beer tastes like? I'll tell you what this tastes like, right? It's a very light tasting, low alcohol lager. These things remind me of bad decisions. This is the kind of beer you drink when you're just out all night drinking. But it's still delicious um, as a beverage. Um, so how are we doing? I miss you guys a little bit. i um, be honest, I... Uh, I haven't been, uh, obviously you guys haven't been recording as much as I had prior to the last year. And again, I've talked about it a little bit, but it's just nice to get back and do it. Like I only did one video last week. Let's have another sip. And I like doing these. I like getting out there, I like talking with you guys. I want you guys talking at you guys. You guys don't talk back quite as much. But uh, speak up, internet. Axiom Spinners, what do we got today? Part of the reason this one was delayed, I've had this a little while, but I wanted to be able to... Get good, internet, you know? You know, get good. I wanted to get good. Axiom Spinners. What do we got? Oh, the Spin Pin. Stainless, machine finish. R188, 10 balls. They're using hex bearings in there, so. Um, old Leo, signature, 1217. So, um, what's today? Let's just say, was it exactly a month? But no, it's like the 21st, 22nd. All right. I'll put this over here. So, let's see what we got in here. First of all, now I've only played around with taking this apart just a little bit, and I haven't actually taken the bearings out of the end, so I don't know if those O-rings are on the other side of the bearings or where those really need to go in. But then a spare screw and the Allen wrench, so we'll get the Allen wrench out because we're going to need that in a minute. So the spin pin is really kind of sweet. I guess we're just getting that out of the way early, aren't we? But uh, let's get it out of this nice little pouch. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, but essentially what it is, is it's a knuckle roller mixed with spinners. So um, it's a nice little swoop in here. And then you've got these two little, you know, knobby things on the end that spin. So you can give it a spin like that. It's actually pretty satisfying to give it a hard spin like that. Um, all things considered, like that on its own is a pretty interesting way to fidget. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Um, right down here, we'll put the uh, the price. I forget what the price is. And sorry, my hands are dry. I was working outside this afternoon and it just destroyed my hands while working on the car. So I almost brought my camera out to record on that. I don't know why I'm still holding my fingers up. The price won't be up to that long. Um, um, yeah, I almost brought my camera out to do... Um, it seems like a lot of the people that, you know, as I've talked about, like getting into things other than spinners... Um, you know, would still follow my channel. So almost doing like a little vlog style. I never thought it was that <laughs> interesting, but I get where it is. I get, it's kind of neat. And as I've kind of like got into other, you know, people that I follow, it's kind of nice just to know what they're doing in their day to day. So um, anyway, I was working on trying to get my, this whole piece of shit Subaru working. Um, but uh, anyway, so let's look at the spin pin. So first and foremost, I think it's, see how I do that? I tell you, I say that first and foremost, we're nowhere near there. Um, it is a, you know, designed like a knuckle roller. So I had to do a lot of practicing to kind of get even where I'm at here and I'm not like super good. Um, and I really like the idea, uh, I was showing Leo kind of like as I was progressing through this, sent him a couple of videos of me fidgeting with this. Uh, and I think I've posted one of them on Facebook too. Uh, but I don't like the idea of using my thumb. And you know, when I think when you're fidgeting with this, if you use your thumb a lot, it makes it one easier, but you can do it a little faster. But for me, it's much more satisfying to do it without my thumb and bringing it back up is a little bit tough but um so i'm no knuckle roller expert so this is not going to be like you, you'll, you'll get better info from someone that's really into it but for me it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of different ways um you can do this so you can do it sort of this um i guess it's going up my hands and then back down almost like a counterclockwise action or you can spin it the other way and as i do it it's kind of awkward to hold my hand on the camera like this, but as I do it a little bit, it gets a little faster. Um, so you can just kind of go this way and then spin it back around this way. You can do it 
you know, back and forth on. Whoops. I do that a lot too. Woo! My wife was making fun of me when I was in the car. I was on like a long drive using this. And uh, you can do it around one finger. I'm like, great, just around that middle finger. Um, my wife was making fun of me because I kept dropping it like every five minutes. Um, but it's a fun little, uh, it's a fun little way to fidget. And as you kind of get, uh, get used to it, I really like the feeling of it going like this, this particular, this maneuver right here, getting my pinky under and then bringing it back under, um, is kind of a tricky one going down. It's not as much of an issue bringing it back up. I'm at kind of an awkward angle holding my hand. Normally I'm sitting on the couch and I got my arm more up like this. When I first started doing it, I was trying to do it <laughs> like in here. Like I thought you were supposed to do it closer to your hands and I'm like, I can't even grab it. But like between these two knuckles, that's where it seems to work for me. Uh, and if you get your thumb in on it a little bit, that's fine. So, but getting your finger under it kind of pushes it up. Um, now the inside of this is very smooth. It feels very nice. I actually really enjoy doing this a lot too. Now because the bearings, you know, they've got that inner race that has a little bit of play. Um, it puts some pressure on it so it doesn't spin that long. And if you kind of push down, you can't really spin it. And that's just because the, you know, the races are loose. That makes sense that you're going to be pushing on the balls when you squeeze too hard. Normally you don't have that because you're pushing on the buttons that aren't pushing on. Oh, what have we got here? Well, I guess since I sort of just ruined the surprise, let's take this thing apart. So this was a little tricky to take apart. Nothing too bad. Um, but because the middle is pretty slick and slippery, getting some, uh, purchase on this so since you know after the first time I loosened it up it was it's easy to take them out now but then it's also kind of hard to really crank down and tighten it because it just wants to the middle thing wants to spin through your hand but anyway so the other thing that you can do with this is it's uh, just to kind of see the mechanics of what's going on here we've got a bearing inside this little cap a little post and a little screw so you can just throw another spinner on it oops <laughs> kind of just dropped right in there Get in there. You get in there, look at what you've done. We are in the infamous Oregon turkey pocket. So it's a neat way to hold a spinner. Oops. Uh, depending on the spinner, this probably isn't the best spinner to use on here, but there's a specific reason why I chose this spinner to put on here. Because I think it's kind of neat when you've got two of the same spinner. So no reason you can't do that. Right now, it's kind of especially with as wide as as long as these arms are, it's rather difficult to spin that and have it not hit your fingers. Uh, but that's kind of a satisfying thing to do. I think smaller uh, smaller spinners would make more sense to put on a spin pin than this guy. Uh, but it's kind of neat, and since they were the same, I thought they they would be worthwhile showing on here. So, but guess what, internet? Guess what? That post. Is the same size as hydro buttons. What? Darn tootin'. So now we can have some fun. Now we can have some fun or not. So spin pin is pretty sweet. So just for the knuckle roller alone, I've been actually enjoying trying to build that technique like a spinner. And I guess, you know, as when I first got spinners, um, what's that rubbing on? Not really pinching down on the bearing. I feel like it wasn't that much of an issue. I was playing with it before and it wasn't that much of an issue, but uh, it's nice being able to hold, <laughs> hold it <laughs> and spin it. Um, you know, so as I got into spinners, right? Um, oh, look at that, we get kind of an awkward fidget in there. Pull it like this. I don't know, it just brings a whole new level to, to playing with things. Um, but as I kind of got into spinners, right, like getting that technique down so that you can actually spin a spinner. Um, you know, there's a little bit of technique there, but it's something that I think you can pick up pretty quick. It doesn't, it didn't feel like as much of a skill as the spin pin feels like. Uh, so that's kind of neat. It's kind of nice, like fidgeting with something and feeling like you're actually getting good at it, right? Like I don't have to, I don't feel like, oh, look how good I am at spinners. Like you hand a spinner to someone that's never spun one and then you give them a preloaded flick and blow their minds when you, they see how fast you can spin it with one hand and they're over there like, eh, you know? Um, but at the same time, like this feels like much more of a skill toy, a skill tool, a skill treat, whatever. So it's neat. And uh, I did get sent this by Leo. Uh, he asked me to, to check it out and to do, if, asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review, and I said, you darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. So, 
Whoops, and it's fine. Um, yeah, so I've really enjoyed kind of playing around with this and trying to develop that technique. I know it's nowhere near as exciting for beer as you're used to me having, but it's just what we happen to have, so. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I thought I'd have a little bit more to talk about with this thing, but we kind of blasted through. Um, I can't think of any real downsides. Um, you know, for me, this is my first knuckle roller, so uh, I, I can't say like a lot in terms of how well this is weighted or balanced. Um, is that good? Is it bad? Is it, um, you know, what's going on with that? Um, so for me, it's just kind of neat. Uh, sometimes when you're trying to flip it over, you know, because of as big as these are and this whole thing spins, um, you kind of, um, you know, maybe that makes it a little harder to fidget with, but it also gives you more to fidget with, right? So it's not just like a knuckle roller that you just spin with. A, a dedicated knuckle roller is probably better as a knuckle roller, but this is a total, total package kind of scenario. So, um, so yeah, spin it up. You know what? I wonder if this would be good. Go on a ride with me, internet, right? You guys don't mind. It's only been 11 minutes. I've been away for a while. Did you guys see this? I don't know if you did. I tumbled it and then put the hummingbird buttons on it, brass blacked it. I actually brass blacked it and then tumbled it. Um, get out of there. this on here these might be this might actually be a thing internet yeah I mean you can even hold it like that kind of catches a little bit yeah I don't think it would be super comfortable doing it like that you actually can do it a little bit but then oh that's nice that's really nice you know what they should I, I wonder if you could do this with some knurling um, or almost like a jimping, like more than, than just a knurling something, but not quite as aggressive as, as these little teeth like this. Um, the biggest problem actually with the teeth is not so much the grooves this way, it's this way. Like when I spin it over, my finger kind of catches there, and then there's nothing to like lift up on to get that leverage. But that's actually, that's really satisfying, y'all. That's nice. And <laughs> now it looks like a little missile, a little torpedo. Plus, you can stand things up on it. I did a little stacking video um, you might have seen if you're on the Facebooks. And uh, it wasn't, uh, I almost, I wanted to use this in it, but because of the way it is, it's kind of hard to tell that it's spinning. Um, so while it was pretty interesting. Again, this is just a fun little thing you can do a lot with, right? Anything you can get a lot of multi-purpose action out of, right? Like you can set this here, set this here, so we can give this a spin and then try to spin the buttons. Oops. Whoa! All right, spin the middle. Drippy, oh. Uh, because the buttons can spin, you can kind of do some cool stuff with, um, hmm, do I have, will this stand up on it? Did not hit? Oof. Maybe we should spin this first. Whoa! Stacks on stacks, y'all. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of fun. I actually uh, also learned that you can do that with the Hydra stand. So you can stand spinners on top of it in here. Anyway, so if you got a Hydra, it's fun, fun toy. I'm sure Eugene loves seeing this Hydra come in all the time, but we're not here to talk about the Hydra. We're here to talk about this. So, um, yeah, I started talking about negatives. I can't think of a lot of negatives. Um, you know, it's a, it's a unique thing to learn. It's tricky. It's a little weird. It's almost probably worth, I should have recorded a little bit of a video when I first tried doing this because it's really awkward. You drop it a lot. It's, it's, you know, it is, it is, it's awkward. Um, but as you figure it out, um, as you play around with it, um, it also feels like a really good hand exercise. It's almost to the point of like, I don't want to say like carpal tunnel, but I can really feel like a lot of, um, um, forearm like workout and it feels it actually feels nice I think if you did it too too much especially if you hadn't done a lot and hadn't developed that strength um, you could cause potentially some issues so go easy on it listen to your body that sounds silly to say that with a little fidget toy but 
you know, don't hurt yourself, right? So, um, yeah, there we have it. I think that's, uh, oh, you know what else you can do with it? You can spin it like this. Maybe we can, can we get it to do it? So it spins pretty well on that. You can also like crank these two different directions. Woo! Can't believe I almost forgot to show you that. Oh, look at that, it'll just spin right in there, yeah. That's actually, ooh, internet. We hadn't, I hadn't discovered that and I keep one of these at my desk at work. Well, that's pretty satisfying. Yeah, you guys need one of these. <laughs> I'm just sitting here having fun doing a video, right? Like this is kind of what this sort of thing is. It's like a, it's a fun little, um, it's a fun little thing. So, jeez Louise, but yeah, get your hands on it. Um, you will drop it a lot, get used to it. I've dropped it. I don't know if I've dropped it actually on hard floor. I've dropped it over carpet. Um, I've dropped it in the, in the seat of the car, or on the floor of the car. So nothing too crazy. I've definitely dropped it on the floor a couple times. Um, and the bearings seem okay. It seems like I don't the way the weight's distributed. I don't I don't know if it's just gentler on bearings or you're not really worried about spin time and like super smooth spins, um, despite having FC bearings in there. So I think you know damaging the bearings a little bit isn't that big of an issue. So. Anywho, can we recommend it? Um, I think one and a half. I think, I think for what it is, it's cool. It's unique. Uh, I think it's worth having. I just don't think everybody's going to want a knuckle roller kind of situation. But I think if you are someone that's into the knuckle rolling scene, you don't have something like this. Um, I think you definitely got to check it out. You got to try it. So it's pretty, pretty sweet looking. You can do some fun stuff with it. Let's do this one more time. Look at it go. Ooh, daddy. So there you have it. Internet the Spin Pin by Axiom Spinners. Um, Hobby Timmy, uh, let's, let's endorse it. We, we dig it. So kisses, y'all.